Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here. Uh, we're excited to have the, uh, this, uh, the Virginian Four. Yesterday was the Talladega 500. This is the Virginian Four. So today, and I was playing with these guys. I told them just a moment ago, I said, doing NASCAR all these years, I had so many friends of mine never get a scratch in the race car. My, uh, my favorite story is that David Pearson said, I never got hurt in a race car, but he broke his shoulder and his collarbone in a golf cart race in California one year before Riverside. So you guys be careful. I'm going to walk through one of these guys. Just give us your name and position and your place. Chad Beasley, defensive tackle, 97 uh, throw. I did his first game uh, on the SP, and what a great ball game that was. That was <laughs> you. You're checking in there, coach. All right, next. I remember that. Two great hooks. Here we go. Volunteers. Phil Fuller, head coach from 92 to 08. Phil Fuller, head coach from 92 to 08. Al was a linebacker from 95 to 98. So we got a defensive theme going on here. We got a defensive tackle, safety, linebacker, head coach. Although he was a head coach and an offensive lineman, an offensive coordinator, he said defense was his first love. So we're going to get. So these guys are going to run two laps each, change drivers, and run two more laps. Uh, and I would, I would probably advise those of you on the course to move to one side or the other. <laughs> Chad Beasley trying to hang close, taking the draft off the rear of his cart. Watch Beasley do a crossover maneuver. Uh, Wilson blocks him. Well, they have cart like now two cart like now Wilson. Got to be careful in this corner to be slippery. Got to use the banking or lack thereof. Half one body is Sal Wilson. Beasley's got a plan, I know. Gonna let him build his confidence and build a little bit of a lead and then come roaring back in the final lap of the draft. Remember the second lap, they're gonna change drivers. Here's some payload. Here's Al Wilson coming in. Look at all the fans waiting as Al comes by. Here are the volunteer fans, the hockey fans. It will stop. Driver change. Driver change. Oh, oh there he is. Might need a replay on the uh, rules violation there on the uh, left side cart. Pearson Prelo taking a couple of cart length lead. Fulmer known for those incredible second half comebacks. Watch him, let's see what he can do here. Fulmer's gated on Prelo has a problem. Fulmer has made the move. Oh, in overtime, in overtime, here we go. Prelo is flipped by. Fulmer makes the move. Final turn. It was a fun race and I, you know, I kind of left. Okay, let's get over here and talk to the winners. Let's get over here and talk to Hey, hey Coach. You're talking about a rush now. That's a rush. Coach, you, you were down by three cart lengths with a lap to go, and you made the move. Tell us about that. Al, Al gave me the lead. I, I lost it on the beginning, on the on the pitting, yeah. right? But uh, I think we got a little bit of advantage because he had the curve too fast. Uh, undercut him and held him off. Heck of a run. Heck of a run. Huh? Hey, 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 Al. Dale Earnhardt Jr. couldn't have done it any better. Al, you you got, you got a couple of cart length leads. You know something about driving on the inside and racing these things. Well, you know, I, I hate what old Carl picking. He, teaches, <laughs> you know, he teaches me a little, about, a little bit about racing, so he says the 48 car ain't going to pit, so hey, I like it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Al Wilson and Paul Palmer taking a win.